When you think of the word nuclear, you might think of this, or this, or this, or even this. You also might think of this, nuclear power. Just what is nuclear power? How does it work? How is it generated? I'm going to answer those questions right now. Some of you are probably wondering, why should I care? Well, you should care because nuclear energy currently represents 20% of the United States' total energy production and is expected to grow over the next few decades. I like to think of nuclear energy as being produced in two steps. Step one is the fission chain reaction. This is how the splitting of an atom creates the heat to generate electricity. Step two is how the plant turns that heat into electricity. Let's begin with fission. So there are two components in a nuclear chain reaction. The first one is the atom of uranium-235. The second one is the neutron. And when the neutron hits the atom, it's going to cause the atom to split. And there are going to be three things that come out of that split. The first thing is going to be energy. And that's the energy that's actually going to power the, the electrical generator. The second thing are going to be lighter elements. The third thing, which is the most important part of a chain reaction, are neutrons and more neutrons are going to fly out and they're going to hit even more atoms and those atoms are going to make even more neutrons that are going to go out and hit even more atoms. It's going to continue on and on until the nuclear reactor is out of fuel or uranium. So this is an example of a chain reaction. When I touch the first domino, it'll cause all the other dominoes to fall down. So now you know how the heat is generated. Now I'm going to show you how a nuclear plant turns that into electricity using this animation I cut and pasted directly out of Wikipedia. The uranium superheats water here, in the reactor chamber. Superheating water is when water is heated past its boiling point without actually boiling. That water is pumped into a steam generator here, where it heats and boils other water into steam. That steam is used to turn a turbine here, which creates electricity. The steam, meanwhile, is condensed back into water here, using cool water drawn from a nearby lake or river. The condensed water is then pumped back into the steam generator and the cycle starts over. The most likely future of nuclear energy will be a new type of power plant called a thorium molten salt reactor, or MSR for short. There are a few key features that will be different from today's light water reactors. Firstly, the MSR would be powered by liquid thorium, not solid uranium. Thorium is more common than uranium, more efficient, and more stable. There would also be improved safety features. The reactor in an MSR operates at a much lower pressure than light water reactors. There is also a frozen salt plug that melts in the event of a power outage and allows the liquid thorium fuel to drain into containment chambers. I hope you learned something about nuclear energy. Thanks for watching.